Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a video on my current favourite ROM, which is codename Android 3.5.0. Um, you can get this ROM from XDA developers. It is awesome, and that is no joke. I mean, it's it's so good. If you want, if you wanted to customise literally everything on your Android device, this is the ROM for you. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you that it is. Hey, name Android. About phone. You can see there, code name Android version 3.5.0. Jelly Bean 4.1.1 latest version. It runs Air Kernel, which is made by a different developer, developer, but I kept it on there, so this is how it comes when you install it. First thing I've got to say before I get into the customization is just how smooth everything feels. I mean, I really like the stock Jelly Bean, and I thought it was smooth, and I didn't see how it could get much smoother. Yeah, this is smoother. Um, the, the transitions and stuff, the way things go in and out, everything is really, really smooth. And this is running on my Nexus S as well. It is available for some other phones, like the Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so let's get into the, uh, the customization, because that's what we all want to see, right? The customization, let's go into the settings. Now this is where you customize everything basically. This little section here is not normally here. It's got a title that says ROM. This is where all of the good stuff happens. So I'm just going to dive straight into this and go into interface. General. Custom carrier label. So you can change this to literally anything. Badass. Alright. Okay. And now instead of having your carrier, you have badass down here. So yeah man, you can look really cool and stuff. <laughs> no, but seriously, you can change this to anything you want. You can put like your name or whatever. Enable auto kill button. Displays a button to kill all apps on recent window. This is nice. I'm just gonna turn this on here and let the bar disappear let's just wait for that to reload and um, most of this stuff you can turn on and off and you won't have to like restart but some stuff you will have to restart okay so it's done now so let's just open some apps okay now we'll open the task manager and you can see at the bottom here instead of swiping away each app like we normally do there's a kill all button you can hit that Everything closes. Fantastic. It's annoying sometimes when you've got like 30 apps open, you have to swipe through them. So that's a nice advantage. What else do we have in general? Hold back to kill. Another nice feature. I'll let this, sh I'll show you this. Say you're in an app and it kind of crashes or you want to get out of it quickly and you can't, you can hold the back button and it'll just, application killed, it'll just close the app. Okay, that's general. Let's look at the power menu. This is this menu here. You can see it has some features if you turn these all on. Navigation bar toggle, airplane mode, screenshot, profile switcher. Now if we hold this, you can see all those options are now there. All this stuff here, right? So you can even customize your power menu. Uh, one of this, this is probably my favorite, the status bar stuff. You can change the battery icon style, you can see it up there, that's normal. Battery icon style, we can change it to text, it gives you a percent. Icon with text. Icon with center text. Circle mod, everyone loves that one. Hide, I'm just going to leave it on the, the percent one because that's actually quite nice. Um, you can see it there. Okay, battery bar location, you can change it. You can see it there, it's kind of, yeah. So that's the percent bar, top of the navigation bar. Bottom of the navigation bar. So you can actually just change where you want that to appear. Battery bar style, nah, screw that. Battery bar thickness, nah. You can change the clock style, if you want to change 
Center, it goes into the center. No clock. AMP style, day of the week can change. Signal textile change. You can change literally everything in that little, in that bar up there, which is it's really nice to do. Notification power widget. Now this is nice. This I would love to see on a future version of stock Android. But the custom ROMs keep bringing it, so it's good stuff. All right, there. That's what it does. It brings these icons. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and sound, and you can choose different ones if you like. So you can turn everything on and off just just here as easy as that. Um, turn them off. Widget buttons is what I'm talking about. You can pick different ones and then add them at the top, and if you get more, it'll swipe across. So you can literally add anything there. Brightness, location, close drawer on change. Yeah, we don't care about all that stuff. Notification toggles, enable toggles. Yeah, these are a bit different to what we've had before. You can either have these or the other ones and you can see it adds the toggles and um, it adds toggles, yeah. Uh, so if you don't want them and you want toggles, you can have them. You can have them both, I don't know why you would. You can have different layouts, you can have this kind is what we have now, or this kind. You can see that, toggles, toggle switches. Oops. Yeah, toggle style, you can change the toggle style, you can change all this good stuff. You can change the colours if you want to change the colours. Hardware keys, yeah, if you, if you want to change what these do, these bottom buttons, you can. Using this, if you want to change the menu to the search assistant, it will now be Google Now Search Assistant. So you can change them to anything here. I'm not going to because I kind of like how it is at the moment. Oops. Um, lock screen. This is one of my favourite things you can do. I've always wanted the widgets and stuff on the lock screen. I know you can get widget locker and things like that, but I don't really want another app. I just want something to do it. Right now you can do the weather, so if we give that, turn that on, I'm going to show you what I mean. Close it, go to lock screen, and it's not there. There it is. Um, you get the weather forecast, where you are, lowest temperature, and the current state. Um, so instead of having to have a widget on your home screen, you can just, bam, there's the weather. Cool, don't have to unlock my phone. What else do we have in that section? Lock screen. You can also have calendar. I'm going to turn that on, but I don't have any calendar events, so I doubt anything will, will turn up here. No. But I'm guessing if I had a calendar event, it would turn up. Slider shortcuts. Yeah, these, you know, when you're about to unlock your phone, you can go up Google, camera, unlock. You can change these. This I think does require a restart, so I'm not going to, but if you say you pick this one, you can pick empty and you can pick anything, any application you want, um, settings, anything. If you go to applications, you get all your applications. I'm just going to leave it on empty because I don't want the thing I like it how it is at the moment. Sound. What can we do with sound? Okay, so they've added some HTC stuff and kind of Samsung stuff here. Face down actions. If you turn this on, you can flip your phone to silent when you're receiving a call. So say if it's like that, you receive a call, you flip it over, it'll turn to silent. Face down audio mode. What to do with the sound when you flip your phone face down? So if you, again, same thing, flip your phone, you can change what effects the sound will do. You can put on vibrate mode, silent mode enabled disabled on there so that's a nice added feature again display yeah display is just the standard stuff you can change what rotates the lock screen where what kind of different rotations you want and need if you want a full rotation you can have it volume rock awake so you can use this to wake your device I'm not going to bother showing you that because it's pretty obvious notification light if you've got one 
Um, 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 um. Status bar, I think I missed something out in the status bar. Do I? Yeah, brightness control. This I actually kind of like, because you can hold it here. If you decide your phone's too bright or not enough, you just hold it here, and you can go up, and you can go down. Oops. And you can see there's a percent there. 50, 40, 30, 50, and then all the way up. So you can change the brightness straight away from there, which is, is really convenient instead of going, you know, bang into brightness settings and pulling the pulling the, the uh, slider around. I think that's it in the interface. It, you can see how you can pretty much change everything you want to change. Um, you can have lock screen widgets, which is really nice. This is my favorite. You can change these if you don't want them. You can add more. Uh, it's really, really nice. If you like customization, give this gut a go because it's epic. <laughs> I mean, there's so much other stuff you can do. If you want to mess around with performance, you can. Uh, if you don't know much about this, then leave it alone because it can mess up your phone. Voltage control, CPU, start of tweets, kernel. You know, in CPU, you can change the CPU, the governors, the on-demand frequencies, and all that kind of stuff. You can disable the boot animation if you want to. Again, proceed with caution on that one. Profiles they've added. So, say you don't want to be disturbed, you go into the office, you want to turn it off, you're at work, you hit that, and, you know, mobile data is disabled, Bluetooth disabled, all this stuff will end up being disabled if you click them. Uh, you can, like, disable calls, so you can make your own saying, kind of, do not disturb, hit all this stuff to on, when you hit the do not disturbed um, profile, it'll just turn everything off. And you can also get to them in your lock screen if you've turned that on, which is really, really nice. Quiet hours, I think this is, yeah. So if you have like a certain time, say you go to bed at 12 o'clock and you get up at seven, you can turn everything off until those times so you don't get notifications in the middle of the night because they can be annoying. Um, themes doesn't work at the moment. If I click it, it'll crash, I'll show you. I don't know why, I think they just haven't implemented it yet. So hopefully I'll do that soon. The launcher. So this is, if you ever customize Android, you can change all the stuff in the launchers. The grid size, the amount of home screens, your default screen. If you don't want the Google search bar, you can go ahead and turn it off. There you go, it's now gone. Um, I actually like the Google search bar. A lot of people are like, oh my God, no, you can't turn it off. I'm like, yeah. So it looks quite nice. So I'm just going to turn that back on. Resize any widget. Turn off scrolling wallpaper if you don't want it. If you don't want to stop the uh, the dock divider, you can turn it off. And you can see it it will disappear. Now there's just no no uh, divider. Um, what can you do in the drawer? Join with apps. I actually like this off. If you ever used Ice Cream Sandwich on a Nexus device, like this to reload. It, when you do this, it used to just go straight to widgets. Now it won't. Now it just stops on the apps. If you want to get to widgets, you have to hit widgets. I prefer that because I didn't like it when I just like zoomed through and I'd hit the widgets. Um, so yeah, I think it's better that way. Um, what else have we got in there? Nothing in there. Okay. Auto wrote screen in there. Otherwise, nothing else. Don't think I missed anything in here. Nope. 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 I'm sure there's a lot of other changes they've made. Um, one being in developer options, they gave you this toggle so you can turn things on and off. They give you a lot more developer tools. You can change the LCD density, Wi-Fi scan interval. A lot of this stuff, if you've ever used it before, isn't there. Upload speed check. So, you know, again, be careful with this stuff. It can mess up things, so, you know, be careful. There's always the classic. GPU rendering everyone loves to use. Changing window animation as well to speed up the animations is nice. Uh, if you go to about phone, they've added this hardware information section. You can see what CPU you're running, how much memory you have, cameras and resolution is all there. What else do we have? Oh yeah, they've added some stuff to the camera. I don't know if you ever used it on the Nexus S before, but you didn't get touch to focus. If I hit the camera now, you'll see touch to focus is working. Such a simple thing now, most phones have it, but this didn't, and they've implemented it, which is, you know, it's really nice. So you can just tap anywhere on the screen to focus and down, take the picture. Google now, everything's working on here. Google now is working. I haven't set anything up. So, 
setting up it got. Fantastic. If you want the customized experience, then you just got to go with a custom ROM like this because it gives you so much. Um, it just seems smoother to me as well. The animations seem smoother. Again, this is all codename Android. That developer deserves a lot of credit. I think it's a mixture of a lot of different things they've all put together and it's really, really nice. That's about it really. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of it in the uh, comments and stuff. I mean, if you want to see anything else about it, I'll happily do a video. As always, please rate, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.